Some news out of the FDIC now. Leslie Picker has those details. Hi, Leslie. Hey, Tyler. The FDIC outlining three options to reform its deposit insurance system following several recent bank failures. Among the options disclosed in a report earlier this hour, the FDIC's preferred choice is altering the system to provide targeted coverage with different limits across account types where business payments are granted higher coverage than other accounts. The rationale in making this the favored option for reform, according to the FDIC, is that business accounts pose a greater financial stability concern to the system. The other two options that they laid out include limited coverage, maintaining the current framework, which provides insurance to depositors up to a specific limit. It's currently $250,000, but potentially they would increase that limit, or unlimited coverage, which would extend insurance to all depositors, regardless of size. Congress has to set the limit or has set the limit at 250,000. So it would be up to Congress to effectuate some of these changes or something else. And as for the overall impact on the banking system, any increase in coverage that would result in more insured deposits would result in a higher deposit insurance fund. So this plan would require a larger amount from the FDIC. Uh, in FDIC insured institutions to cover more deposits in that fund, guys. All right. Thank you very much, Leslie Picker.